So when do you just burn the whole thing down and walk away and collect insurance? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Talk with Andrew Hobbs. I am yet again, Andrew Hobbs. I'm here with Mike and we're talking housing. We're talking selling. We're talking buying. We're talking all sorts of information that you guys need. And I have a question. What, as a seller, let's say I'm gonna sell my house and there are some things I need to fix up. What do I need to worry about? Because one time I got really upset and I Hi-ya! kicked a hole in my wall and I don't know anything about drywall, so I just put a bush in front of it and then I left. <laughs> Creative solution. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Is that something I need to worry about? What, what kind of steps question do I need you. to go through? So the first question, Andrew, is what's your objective? So I, most of the time, as real estate agent, we always go into people and, and we're assuming that people want the most out of their home. When, which may not always be the case. So the first, the first thing is to understand what's the objective. So if you come into me and you say, Mike, I want top dollar for my house, the recommendations are gonna be different than if you come to me and say, look, I, I wanna do as little as possible yet get my house sold. Mm. Okay, so first question is making sure we understand what your objective is. But if you're the normal seller, interested in getting as much for your home as you can, the first place you actually start is outside. Mm. because we need to get people inside your house. So if you have repairs that are evident when you're standing at the street and, and it's clear your front door needs painted, that you've got a, a, we'll say a rain gutter that's bent down in front doing things like that, you need to take care of those things first so we can get people inside your house. The really clear and evident repairs you also need to look at, and as an owner, you know what those are. So that hole, yeah, you should probably get that hole fixed. Otherwise, fixed. you know, yeah. As buyers are looking, the more they see, the more objections they have, the more they keep ratcheting down on what they're gonna be willing to offer on your house as that list grows. If you've got rooms that clearly need painted, paint, by the way, is one of the greatest places to get a return on your time and effort is with painting. Do it well, but doing painting, repair holes, take care of doors. Um, if you've got windows that have moisture in them, be sure to be taking care of those. Again, start at the street and get people in your front door and progress from there. And of course, clutter's gotta go. Gotta get rid of that clutter. I just put take my shoes off as soon as I get in the house. I have shoes everywhere, yeah. all over the place. <laughs> what about once, once they're inside the house? What are they beyond the cosmetic fixes? Are there any big fixes I need to worry about? Um, you know, again, if, if, if a house is, um, clearly needs painted, Another thing is if you've got a lot of odors, um, you know, those senses kick in, people walk in your front door and, and it does not smell great. If you've got pet odor or anything like that, you need to make sure that you can take care of that. And if cleaning won't eliminate it, then you need to just exchange it out. So just understand you're also, you may say you want top dollar for your house, but if you don't take care of some of those really evident things, your, act your actions and your decisions are determining that you won't get top dollar, you're gonna get something else. Mm. Yeah. So when do you just burn the whole thing down and walk away and collect insurance? <laughs> Is that a valid, anybody, anybody else? No, we didn't say that on camera. No, we that, didn't say we'll, that we'll on camera. That. Okay, we'll cut that. <laughs> anyway, you heard it here first on Real Estate Talk with Andrew Hobbs. Tune in next time for more Real Estate Talk with Andrew Hobbs. And I am Andrew Hobbs on Real Estate Talk with Andrew Hobbs. This is an endless loop. We can just say this over and over. Thanks. This guy. We just do this until they say stop.